Hey everyone, um, I'm excited to share my testimony of how God saved my life through Jesus Christ. For those that don't know me, I'm a wife and a mama to 10 beautiful souls that God so graciously gave me. And I'm here today to be obedient in Christ's call of believer's baptism after salvation. In going through partners here at Compass, I was asked what is my testimony? And I was really stumped because I had never really thought that I had a testimony to share. I thought I was going through the partner's discipleship, discipleship program to help me reach and teach my children mostly, because homeschool mama, and, uh, but this part really turned it back on myself. 2 Corinthians 13.5 says, examine yourselves to see whether you are in the faith. Test yourselves, or do you not realize this about yourselves, that Jesus Christ is in you, unless indeed you fail to meet the test? This began my looking inward to really focus on my life and when I placed my faith and trust in Christ. My family growing up was in and out of church and made several big moves, making it difficult to settle into a church home. Around the age of 11, we did settle into a church home and I was baptized as part of my family joining the church as that was required to be a member and I hadn't been baptized yet. This grew confusion as I thought through my testimony since I grew up going to church, attending youth retreats, and thinking I had been a Christian for a long time. I see now that I knew Jesus was my savior, but looking back it was clear I hadn't placed my trust and faith in him at this time. Something was lacking. I clearly lived for myself, not for Christ in my childhood and teen years. The choices I made and my actions were all about me. Most would have thought I was a good child and I was good at avoiding getting into trouble. Lying and manipulating situations helped me get my way. There was a lot of hurt in my life that I kept covered up and I did not feel convicted about my sin. I kept my good girl act up and ran under the radar. I rationalized my sinfulness and made excuses for it. Psalm 14.3 and Romans 3.12 say, there is none who does good, not even one. As I examined my early adulthood, I also found I was relying on myself and there were no real fruits of the spirit. It was me trying to do the right thing instead of relying on Christ. I wanted to go to church and teach my children about Jesus, but I'm ashamed to say that my devotional and self-help books got more use than my Bible. In my mindset then, I felt there would always be more time in my life to read my Bible. I recently read somewhere that God will use your deepest hurt to give you purpose, and in my case, that has been completely true. As an adoptee, born to a very young birth mom, that loss and hurt followed me in my life for a long while. Then, I, then came a time about 12 years ago when that completely changed. God, in his loving kindness, used a loss of a friend's child to turn my heart toward him. Seeing this mom during her deepest grief hold up her Bible, telling us it was the gift that God gave us to navigate this life and share Jesus' sacrificial love for us moved me to want that in my life. I then had the eyes of my heart opened and placed my, tr my trust and faith in Jesus. In following him, I began reading my Bible and listening to Christian music. My husband came to know Christ and placed his faith in him shortly thereafter. His leading our family is a great joy and blessing for all of us. I can see now that this is the time in my life that my belief turned into faith and I responded to the message of the gospel. In his rich mercy and grace, he saved me. He gave me a love of his word and I began to read my Bible cover to cover for the very first time. He also showed me how to be obedient in following him and our life took some big changes as we welcomed into our family four precious souls through adoption. <laughs> Adopting was something I was adamant about never doing because of my own hurt, but God, he knew better. God showed me how much he loved me. I felt redeemed and overwhelmingly adopted by him. John 1.12 says, but to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Following Christ has also helped me face storms and trials that have come. We faced a family trial in 2018, and I trusted Christ through all of it. It was so very hurtful, and it was a very hard time. But God drew me closer then, and I grew in sanctification. I wouldn't recount it because of the growth it delivered. I realized then how much value I put into what others thought of me, and it was then I saw myself just as sinful as the people who came against us and counted myself as the worst, as Paul says in 1 Timothy 1.15. The saying is trustworthy and deserving of full acceptance that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the foremost. Through Christ, it became easier to forgive since I was forgiven. 
Since coming to Compass, I've been so encouraged by the expository teaching of God's word. It has helped me have a clear understanding of God's word and the gospel message to be able to share it with others. I'm also very thankful to my husband and my family for encouraging me and my friend Jenny for always being a faithful friend. Um, for those ladies who have taken me through partners and my daughter who is bravely being baptized today too. What Jesus did for me dying on the cross to take the wrath of God will always be my most thankful song. I'm able to look forward to the eternal hope I have in heaven and to live for him for however long he keeps breath in my lungs. You know, you went through partners to, uh, to teach your children. Mm -hmm. And what better lesson could you teach your children than coming up here and being baptized in obedience to Christ? I think the best lesson you can teach your kiddos. I love that. What well, is upon your profession of faith that I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> 